back to the channel, everybody. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. Thanks for joining today. We are back in Railroader. This is episode number five, and boy, do we have a lot to talk about today. Uh, here we are with trusty number one over in the East Weir Interchange, and today is the first day that we will officially be running a train all the way to Bryson. Let's take a look at uh, everything we've got going on here. So there is quite a bit to discuss, actually. So we've got eight setouts here for the Whittier Saw Mill. Uh, quite a few. That's actually the most I've had yet, but that's the benefits of a Tier 3 contract. Uh, we've got uh, Car for Stenzel, Ella House Track, Ella Farm Supply. Uh, then we have the Bryson Freight House, Bryson Lumber Coal and Supply, Standard Oil, and then Appalachian Hardwoods. And then the rest of our cars back here, excluding that passenger car, are all for the bridge site in Bryson, as well as these five cars as well. So massive train to Bryson today. And I've made a few operational decisions. I have decided that uh, we are going to create a dedicated passenger train, which is awesome. And I've also decided that we are going to run a train from uh, here in East Whittier Interchange all the way over to Bryson. Once we're in Bryson, we will um, switch the industries there and we will switch any industries between East Whittier Interchange and Bryson. So we'll only do trailing point switches. We can leave cars for later if we need to, uh, but that way we don't have to do any fancy running around and we'll kind of start settling into more of the operational routine. But some things that you guys need to know in case you haven't experienced this yet, we did have a reputation drop and it kind of sucks, but at the same time, I'm not mad about it because it taught me a lot of good things. So technically, I finished up the Ella Bridge yesterday in the game. You know, yesterday as far as the game's concerned. And I did not run a passenger train to Bryson, so therefore it penalized me for not serving that station. So I lost a third of my passenger rep. Oof. Uh, and then we actually had a little accident on the very last move of the, of the day trying to shove some cars here into the interchange. I tried to do a fly and a kick at the same time. Definitely overambitious and put, uh, put a car on the ground, so I had to pay the price for that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it is what it is. I definitely got the penalty on my income from the damage, plus the uh, the reputation as well. So, drop me down uh, a, a, an amount here where now I can't do tier three contracts until tomorrow. Fortunately though, uh, we've got all of our contracts already lined out, so we don't have to worry about any of that, which is great actually, definitely happy about that. All right, let's see, that was a tier two. Uh, that was a tier two, but then here I've got a tier three. Lovely, and then there's a tier three as well. And then we've got some uh, tier threes here. It looks like, if I remember correctly, it looks like my bonuses might have taken a hit too. I, f I really feel like that was a six four and then a two, but I could be wrong, not such a big deal. But we don't have to worry about taking any contracts today, so we will be okay, but let's get right to it. We have some work to do. I have already sent the uh, logging train up the spur there. Right now, logs is how we make our money. <laughs> so, we've got that covered. I am going to go ahead, though, and put our train together. We're going to take the whole thing at first, but we will be dropping cars off as we go. So, it will get shorter as time goes on. We'll get there. I did get my ch uh, first chance to play on someone else's server today in a little bit of multiplayer. Only got to do about 15 minutes though because I had an event I had to go to, but it was great to be able to kind of see how that works. It was really smooth. If you guys haven't played multiplayer yet, I would definitely encourage you to uh, find some people who want to do that and get rolling. It was definitely a lot of fun. You definitely want to have, you know, three or four locomotives before you get too many people involved just so everybody kind of has something they can do. Obviously, some people don't mind being like a conductor or a brakeman, but you know, some people like to kind of be able to do it all. So. It's a trade-off. All right, we are definitely putting air on this train. This is 1,500 tons. Get that released. Get that released. I do actually want to shove back, though, and grab this passenger car. Uh, we need to pull him up with us. So let's get working on that. Massive train today. Smack it like you mean it. There we go. Gives a nice good couple. All right, nailed it. I do like this car, seats 80 people. Definitely I'm gonna change its number though. But uh, fantastic looking car, love it. Love it, a little bit of a lightweight car there, so awesome. Almost like a streamliner, it's not. 
but you know it's it's almost it's the nicest thing we can get <laughs> all right let's get us moving forward we're now at 15 and a half hundred tons and once I connect to those we're gonna be I'm, I'm gonna guess we're gonna pass 1800 tons we'll see we'll see yeah there's 50 tons oh no we'll, we'll pass we'll pass 1700 but that's probably it to get my diesel stand built here definitely looking forward to running some uh, Jeep 9s later all right all we're gonna do for now we're gonna pull this massive train up uh, get our train put together get the passenger car at the end and then we're going to go ahead and switch the sawmill so i will catch you guys a little bit further to the east here as we get working on that all right we are back in east whittier and we're ready to go ahead and start working the sawmill we have our eight set outs and what i've decided to do this time is go ahead and run around them that was mostly because i did not want to uh, try and fly switch eight cars I did manage to fly switch seven cars on the last episode, and that was fine. Uh, eight is going to be a bit too cramped. I don't think I can get the locomotive out of the way, so we're going to go ahead and run around and uh, work this the proper way. Now, I'm going to be honest. We're still going to kick them. <laughs> uh, we're just not going to fly switch them. So we just got to get around the train here, and we will come back and hook up to them right over here. Then there is the rest of our behemoth of a train. It did actually pass 1,800 tons which is just crazy. I did notice actually, which I'm very happy that it does this. Uh, it was like 32 cars counting the locomotive and the tender. So it's actually 30 real cars. And whenever I would use the train brakes, if I use the train brakes too often, uh, it would, s it seemed to at least simulate that the compressor uh, needed to recharge in order to get uh, the pressure in the airline up. And so, I had, a, I had a moment there where I had to sit for about two minutes uh, to wait on the airline to recharge on all 30 of those cars. And, and that was great, actually. If that's what it's actually simulating, which is what I assume it is, that, that was awesome. I was very happy about that. So uh, that was top tier. All right, let's get some brakes. Those were way too much brakes. But you know what? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Those brakes were so fast that uh, even the sound didn't catch up. <laughs> Definitely late on the whistle, but you know what? It's all good. It's just me and my brakeman out here, and I know he can see that I'm on my way, so we're good. Let's get that speed down. Much better. Nice bang. All right, uh, let's take it forward. Let's get that handbrake off. We'll just pretend that I've already hooked up those glad hands. I do really like this mobile. This mobile is fantastic. I definitely think the next loco locomotive will be the uh, 460 upgrade that I'm going to get. Uh, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to actually upgrade the 460 that I currently have and replace it uh, with the newer one. I want to get the one that's got the high drivers exclusively for passenger service. And then, uh, let's see, after that I'll need, to, I'll need to also buy a locomotive to do the switching over here in East Woody. I'll probably, I'll probably buy the 060 for that. Definitely love some 060s and I'll keep this guy as kind of my road mo locomotive for now. That's at least currently the plan. I might change it as I think more about it. I don't want to get the big consolidation yet. One, because it's like $21,000, but two, because I don't I don't need a locomotive that big just yet. Uh, but I don't want to get the small consolidation necessarily either because it actually performs less satisfactorily factorly than this mobile right here. Uh, just looking at its weight, factor of adhesion, and tractive effort, all that stuff, it's it's less in every category. So therefore, it's, it's easily and obviously going to perform worse. I could always just get another mogul, but even then, I, I don't need another locomotive beyond the beyond the three that I'm about to have. So, But I like the little 460 as well. Um, he does great there on the logging branch, but long term, I don't want him to stay on the logging branch because I, as a 
train master for a railroad would, would never use a 460 on a logging branch, honestly. I just wouldn't. Uh, and yeah, sure enough, you can see here, if we need it about 30 feet there, we're, we're just not going to get it. Yeah, see, eight cars doesn't even fit, which is exactly what I expected. But now we've proven it, and that's important. So we're just going to split four and four. I'll just push up four cars and cut it. And put four here, four there. are clear and they are that's good get some train brake going get it stopped quicker right. awesome I do actually also need to purchase another hopper in order to uh, head over to Bryson and you know load the cold tipple in Bryson that's another thing we got to put on our list. Coal harpers aren't too expensive, though. I looked at the prices. It's not really too bad. All right, let's see. We're going to kick these. Let's get those angle cocks closed up. You can hear that, that uh, oh, what's the word? Brakes, the brake cylinder there, the, or compressor. The brake compressor is working extra hard. All right, we are all set to kick. I think I've got the switches lined up for the first one. Yep, let's go ahead and actually do the far one. Alright, take her away. Alright, we'll see how that goes. Pretty sure that'll be just fine. Got our trusty brakeman riding on those cars over there. Make sure I don't uh, don't run them into the dirt. That would be sad. All right, let's get ready for them. Oh, they're all in their place. Good. Let's go ahead and set the handbrake then because we're going a little fast. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Look at that. Bonuses, love them. Digging those bonuses. I did some math on the bonuses actually, and I've decided, you know what? Gotta hook these up. They, I forgot I bottled there. Oops, my bad. I decided that uh, with these bonuses, going from a six percent bonus to a three percent bonus, if I serve the train the next day, is really not too much of a penalty. Um, I, I made some averages and kind of did some math, but long story short. You know, if, if I want to get the 6% bonus, you've got to pick up the car and deliver it the same day that the way bill changes. So if I deliver a car in the morning, I mean, it's early, it's 7 o'clock. And then the car is unloaded and ready for pickup before the day's work is over. Then I would have to pick it up by making a second trip. And, you know, especially if I have a car like in Bryson or something or, or Ella. You know, I have to make a second trip. And if there's enough cars such that the bonuses could offset the cost of fuel and potential maintenance and if I use an AI crew, you know, then yeah, it, it would make a lot of sense uh, to, to more or less, um, you know, run the second train. But right now, I don't have the car volumes for that, if I'm honest. And so I've decided that for the time being, we're gonna just serve every industry once a day. And so right now the sawmill is being served in the morning. So even once these cars turn their way bills, we're not going to serve them again until tomorrow. And so that does mean that I'm going to miss out on those 6% bonuses. But you know, when it takes 50 car loads in, in under my example to, uh, to get an extra car load for free out of those bonuses, it, it, that, that's just a lot of work. You know, when I could just deliver another car. So that's like three days worth of work, four days worth of work when I could just deliver another car. So I've decided for the time being until the railroad starts handling a lot more traffic uh, each day, uh, we're gonna stick to just uh, serving each entry one time. So I'll get those 3% bonuses, but I am not gonna be mad about it. The math works out. 
Plus, at the end of the day, the logs are what's really making us money right now, and we're serving that twice a day, so we're going to be good. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and put this train together, and I will meet you guys over in Whittier. All right, here we are in Whittier, and we have one set out today at Stenzel. We are most certainly about to kick this car. That is the only way to do business at Stenzel. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Yep, train bank is empty, that's good. Or not empty, it's at zero. All right, uh, we've got the train line, the ankle cocks turned off, which is good, they're closed. Now we can kick it. Uh, if I remember correctly, we need to get up to about 11, 12 miles an hour on this one. 10, 11, and 12. There we go. See if that'll make it far enough this time. In the past, I've always fallen short. Because it's quite a little uphill push there. Ooh, I think that definitely did it. Yeah, we did it that time. Awesome. Probably could have made it on just about 10 miles an hour, but you know what? We'll take it. There he is. Spotted. All right. Perfect. That's what I like. All right. Let's get back to our train. I am going to go ahead and run the passengers as well, uh, but we need to get more water in the tender, so we're going to go ahead, put our train together by grabbing that passenger car, and then we're going to shove back and actually get on the main there instead of the siding, so I can fill up some water. Oop, a little too much. Too much break. There we go. All right, do have a handbrake set. There you go, see how the cylinder is, or sorry, the compressor is slowly clearing the air out of everybody, awesome. Actually, we need to go, now we'll go back first. Yeah, we'll go back first, clear the switch, and then we'll, we'll come forward. This train is definitely heavy, and this locomotive has a hard time. But you know what? I love this locomotive. Number one's my favorite. <laughs> Let's get these set up. We're going to go to Ella and Bryson. Ella and Bryson. Awesome. Try not to use up all my air in my train brake here. I know that's probably not how we would do it, but I do know you can uh, work the work the Johnson bar and the regulator against the, fl the direction of travel, and that does uh, apply steam into the cylinders in a way such that it slows down the speed, but uh, I'm not going to sit here and say that I know anything about whether or not that's actually good. <laughs> I definitely know that it was not common practice on the major class ones at the end of the steam era. Definitely it was not. More of a thing, I guess, than narrow gauge railroads did. <laughs> you know, they broke all the rules, kind of made their own rules as they went. Plus, it's a lot easier to uh, throw it all in reverse, going 10 miles an hour with, you know, 150 tons behind you, rather than going, you know, 15 miles an hour with 1,400 tons behind you. Big difference. Big difference. All right, we need water. 
She's thirsty. We'll do the train break on this one if I don't get slowed down in time. I'm not going to get slowed down in time, am I? Whoop. Yep, nope. Missed it. <laughs> it's tough with a big old heavy train. One little bit at a time. There it goes. We'll take it. Get a little set on it. All right. Let's go get some paperwork done. Train master. Ooh, 85 passengers waiting. Lovely freight. Uh, let's get all these guys added. Although uh, some of them I've already set out. Uh, let's see. Actually, yeah, this doesn't include any of the ones I've already set out. That's good. Yeah, this is only the ones that I still need to set out. Awesome. So two to Ella. Uh, we'll actually leave those in the siding at Ella. And we will pick them up on the way back and switch them when they are, you know, a trailing switch. Uh, let's see. And then everything else here goes to Bryson. Yep. Nice. All right. Well, that's done. Yep. So most everybody is going to Bryson. Makes sense. Not as many going to Ella anymore. Like, hey, we don't have to walk from Ella to Bryson anymore. So we're just going to take the train all the way to Bryson. I think this holds 5,000 gallons? Yeah. Or maybe it's 4,500. 4,300. I think it's 4,300 gallons. Nope. Must be 4,500. No. Ah, okay. Well, I'm going to stop guessing. Need to pay more attention in school. Hear that, kids? Pay attention in school. <laughs> 5,000, my initial guess was correct. All right, let's get this guy moving. Cole, we're doing all right on Cole. Besides, I, there's some waiting for me and Bryson if I need it. All right, this is gonna be heavy and slow, but we'll get there. waiting on that while, excuse me, while we are waiting on that. See how we're doing up here? Ah, just one log, okay. We're not doing up there. <laughs> yeah, those are good steel box cars there. Yeah. I think those are the 40 foot AAR steel box cars. Now that's what that is. These must be like Fowlers. 40 foot Fowlers, that's probably a 36 Fowler right there. Yeah, that's probably what it is. I like Fowler boxcars. I think they're my favorite boxcars of the uh, pre modern era. Ooh, fancy passenger car. 84 passengers. Excuse me, I was wrong. It's 84, guys. Bring it on back and get coupled up to our old timey one. <laughs> I want those baggage cars, man. I want to know what it takes to get those baggage cars. What does it take to get the baggage cars? I'm going to be sad if I find out that they're only for sandbox. That's really going to make me sad. 20 or 30 episodes from now, I, I just might have to go in and add myself some, uh, some, some baggage cars. <laughs> You know, if I ever got multiplayer set up, I'd probably want to do like a passenger train that goes all the way across, hits all the stations, and also probably a mail train because I personally would like to run a mail train. That'd be a lot of fun. Maybe even throw a couple of uh, steel boxcars at the front, make it look like they're like express reefers or something. Because I, I noticed it doesn't seem there's any reefers in the game, which I get, you know. Maybe there just isn't any uh, any traffic here that requires a reefer. Yeah, those, those look funny. <laughs> uh, Old-timey passenger car. I might, 
I might build a new train out of just these. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Let's pull forward to the station. Load up some people. Switch this. Awesome. Yep, looks good. So today we're running the mixed train to Bryson. Well, I will see you guys along the line to, to Bryson. Uh, first thing I want to do is get to Ella. We're going to leave uh, these cars for Ella in the siding. And then we will come back and switch those on the return trip from Bryson. So I'm going to take a pause in the video and I will see you guys in a little bit. We'll be uh, somewhere between Ella and Bryson. All right, well, this is a big moment for us as we cross the Ella Bridge to make our way on the newly refurbished lines of Bryson. almost 1500 tons this is this is hard for this lump one to pull we'll see how it does on the grades I don't actually know what the grades are over here so I'm gonna go find out and I will catch you guys over in Bryson Bryson and it was a busy challenging trip it was at least downgrade which is nice so I noticed that uh, heading back to Whittier is when it's going to be upgrade but uh, we did still burn through most of our water because we had the regulator at max the entire time even though I had the cutoff set relatively low uh, but yeah so we're gonna have to actually take on some water here fortunately there are lots of places to do that and this does show that it's got 38 tons of coal so I'm definitely gonna need to go ahead and purchase a hopper and get it shipped out or shipped out sorry uh, to be loaded for next time so that I can bring it over here and and get some stashed here but uh, definitely made some nice dollars there off of the fare since we traveled farther excited about that but uh, more or less we're gonna go ahead see we won't, we've already cut through 40% of our water just getting here uh, we're gonna go ahead and just leave the pasture cars for there for now and start getting our switching out of the way I think I'll just kind of shove everything back into the yard and probably probably do some work in the yard, kind of go from there. Uh, for the most part, I kind of have a reasonable idea where everything else is. There's a freight house, uh, so there's where those go. That makes sense that they would go on the dump track and they would not. Uh, Standard Oil, I believe, is over this direction. Yeah, that's right. And then Appalachian Hardwood is, is around the corner there, so is the bridge site. So. Uh, if I remember correctly, everything down here needs to be in front of the locomotive, or I can do a fly switch. I won't be able to fly switch those. That's too steep upgrade. Look at that. That is a crazy upgrade. Oh, my goodness. Uh, but, yeah, Standard Oil is there. Appalachian Hardwood is around that corner, and we need to deliver here to the bridge site. So uh, let's get right to it. I think that we need to get in front uh, or get around behind everything except the lumber and coal. So we'll shove everything back into the yard and we'll go ahead and get the switching done with those guys uh, here in just a minute. Those will be first and then that way we can get around everything else to do all the other switching. So let's get right to it. First order of business, however, I would like to leave the passenger cars here. All right, and we will uh, set a handbrake. How about we set a handbrake? Where's the handbrake on this guy? That actually is a really good question. Where is he? Is he inside the vestibule? Nope, <laughs> I can't remember. 
Um, I know he's going to have one, though. But where is Ah, is that it? Nope, that's the other one. I'll just set that one, and I'll look for it some other time. <laughs> it's probably somewhere in a less obvious spot that I just missed because I'm goofy. I don't really hang around pasture cars very much and have it in my life. So I don't know much about them. All right, let's do this. Uh, break that coupler, yeah. All right. So I figure we'll uh, push back through this crossover right here. Let's get that guy thrown. Um, let's see, I'm gonna have to use that track for sure because I'm gonna need a lot of space. Yeah. This will be fun. Sad thing is, since I don't have any cars that are here, I won't have any pickups. So when we run back to Whittier, it'll just be with our passenger cars. But that's okay. That's a water column, right? Yeah, it is. Nice. Very cool. Once those brakes kick in, they kick in hard, which is nice. I'm sure on a 1,400-ton train, that's probably definitely reasonable to think. It's not like those 16,000-ton behemoths we see running in modern times today. Holy cow. Man, this, is, this game is just loads of fun. I just love it so much. I've got the uh, logging train is currently heading back down to the sawmill. Let me see how he's doing. Is he waiting on me? He's just about to wait on me. There he goes. Very cool. Very, very cool. Crossover looks a little bit tight. Definitely don't want to be taking a... Uh, <laughs> One of those long pasture cars through there. No, sir. And it's all full. That's crazy. There's still passengers waiting. Wow. So we, st we still need another passenger car. That's fine. Though. We can do that. We can get a third one. Let's keep it to 10 miles an hour. Uh, let's see. Right now... I only need to get as far as a crossover, but I definitely want to go ahead and shove the whole bridge cut back. Yeah. Getting those bridge cars out of the train is going to make everything a lot lighter. I like this yard. This is a good yard. Let's get ready to bring those to a halt because we got a couple set outs to do here. Doesn't really matter if we clear the yard here because we're going to have to get you know behind all these guys anyway. Although since I did clear it, ah, technically that was a good move actually. Yeah, that was actually a good move. You know what? We're going to pretend I did that on purpose. Just in case you didn't know, I didn't. <laughs> all right, here we go. We're gonna go straight now. Hey, look at that. I got a new sub. What's up? <laughs> so when I'm recording on Streamlabs, it's tied into my YouTube, and even though I'm not going live, it still tells me if someone subscribes while I'm while or while I have Streamlabs open. So there we go. That's gonna be a little tight, but you know what? We're gonna pretend that uh, that's it's wide enough. We're gonna go for it. Alright, but you, you go there. And there and there and I'm definitely going to <laughs> have to use the turntable <laughs> I'm gonna be honest I, I don't like the I don't like the shortness of this lead I don't like having to use the turntable uh, to work this this industry however if that's how they did it in real life then all right I will not complain about it but I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm a huge fan. So 
Let's make sure we don't run into the pit. I do have to get out into first person uh, in order to be able to run this turntable. So here we go. Let's do that. Hello. So cool. All right. Nice and easy. Easy does it. Very cool. I like this. This is smooth. I do enjoy playing railroads online, but man, that, that turntable mechanic on that game is a nightmare. It's so bad that I don't even like to use turntables in railroads online. <laughs> I'll just build a Y. Or, if I get really mad, I'll just re-rail the train. <laughs> Which is just terrible. But you know what? I still like railroads online. I just don't play it as much, because this, this is more down my alley of what I really like. At least they gave us some space there to work with. Um, yeah, we can kick this guy. Totally. First, let's, uh, let's seal him off here. It's not technically bottling him because we're not leaving any air in the line or in the cylinder. Sorry, so it's not technically bottling. Let's just get him to uh, six. That should do it. And then this guy, we're, we're just going to have to shove him up because <clears throat> that's a pretty nasty grade right there. Let's see if he makes it. I don't know. We're trying. Experimenting, you know? That's half the fun. Why would you not want to experiment? That's the whole point of it. Sometimes figuring out the answer yourself is, is what's most rewarding. Oh yeah, in fact, it looks like there might even be a bit of a downgrade there. Wrong button. Hit that brake, get him to stop. Yeah, the, this grade is, wow, that grade is crazy. Yep, there's my bonus. Love it, perfect. Set that handbrake, disconnect everything, and the coupler, ooh, 88 on that one, awesome. All right, so what we'll do with this guy, we'll just back on up right here. Uh, let's see, we will just go right to the runaround track there, and you know what, I might just, I might just do a fly for that one. Yeah, we'll just do a fly. One car, piece of cake. Oh, how about we get off the throttle? Yeah, good idea. All right, we are officially halfway on water. Really low on coal, considering I think it holds 13 tons, so we are at around 29, 30%. Alright, these switches are all lined up. That's good. Yep. Then we can just fly them right in. Perfect. You know what though? I need to get the need to get the log train situated while we're backing this guy up. Let's go over here and do that. Burned a, uh, burned a lot of time here on this guy, not getting him moving when I needed to. Probably lost maybe 30 plus minutes of game time over the course of the entire operation today. So, I mean, not a huge problem, but you know. 
is getting me held up. It's making me not make as much money. Let's keep an eye on this Bryson train. $55 a log. Love it. I'm not sure at what point you start getting penalized. I don't know if it's when the supply at the sawmill reaches uh, zero or if it's if you don't actually deliver 15 cars or both. I have no idea. But I don't really want to find out because I need these logs for money. <laughs> Big time. How are we doing on water? We're, we're going to have to fill this guy up. That's fine. We can do that in a little bit. Let's now head back to Bryson and see what we got here. Yeah. All right, time to kick him. Uh, let's get the train brake off so that he doesn't have any air in there. Close that up, close that one. All right, let's get it. I think we nailed it. I think we nailed it. All right, let's go ahead and run around the rest of this train here. Just go ahead and use this track since we're right next to it. Keep an eye on this car so I don't run it off the track. There's the handbrake. It's going a little fast. Perfect. Oh, that's right. That one we don't get paid for because that was something I ordered. That is for the diesel refueling stand here in Bryson. That makes sense. No wonder I didn't get paid. Same thing for these bridge cars. We're not going to get paid for those either. But that is okay. waiting. That's a lot. That is a lot. I mean, for the size of our railroad, that's a lot. <laughs> Obviously, I know that's not a lot in the grand scheme of things. All right. Let's get ready to reconnect and get our final push. So I think what I'll do is uh, get the next part off camera and I will see you guys over when we get ready to work our last three industries uh, which will be standard oil what is it Appalachian hardwoods and the bridge site yeah Appalachian hardwood all right I'll see you guys over there so I definitely kicked this car and um, you, know, you, you might could say that I'm kind of cheating but we're going to uh, pretend that there's a brakeman riding on it and yeah, we just, you know, gently brought it right down. Uh, let's see, we are ready to cut these though. So I'm actually going to come back and switch these two guys because I want to get these 13 cars with the bridge set out of my way just because they're so heavy. All right, here we go. One of our last moves in Bryson. We're getting close. So. Here's the plan. We'll get these 13 cars put up here. We will get these two guys switched out. And then I will conclude the episode at least because we are pretty far past my target of around 25 to 30 minutes. And then uh, what we'll do is I'll go ahead and get the rest done off camera. Really all there is left to do is a couple cars in Ella. 
and another uh, log run and then we'll be ready to see what the next day holds. Uh, I'm definitely interested to see how much sustained traffic these higher contracts give and uh, if that means I'm going to need to actually buy one of those bigger locomotives or not. <laughs> but I definitely need to start making some money so I can get the 10 wheeler, get the uh, third passenger car and then uh, start expanding my freight operations. So, All right, let's get this done. Love the difference in the grades here. Down, up, level. It's awesome. <laughs> That's quite a pretty, pretty steep grade too, honestly. Look at those things blowing in the wind like that. I didn't even notice that. J and E, I forget what railroad that is. E J and E. If you know what railroad that is, leave me a comment because I, I forgot. E J and E. So we've got to get more or less right past this spot right here. All right, that's not too bad. Don't have a lot of space. Don't tell me I'm not going to be able to fit them all in here. That would be so bad. Surely that's not about to happen. <laughs> I would laugh. And then I would cry. <laughs> well, let's see just how much the speed dies here going up this hill with no th no power. That's already two miles an hour. Holy cow. Well, at least you know you're not going to have a car run away to the west of uh, Bryson. Holy cow. Well, Railroad West. I think it's actually we're heading south right now, I think. Oh no, yeah, kind of southwest. Yeah, we might fit all the cars. I don't think we're going to. I think that's gonna force us to shuffle these cars. Very interesting. Come on, just one more. We can do it. We can do it. We can do just one more. Come on. It's a bit nerve wracking. Just need one more car in the catch area. Alright, well, that does it. Sure enough. Dead gummit. Ha! Ah, look at that. Look at that. Didn't quite make it, did we? So we will have to make a return trip to Bryson if we want to do that today. Okay, good to know, good to know. Set that. Fine. That is fine. We can do it. Or we can just let it wait for tomorrow. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal to me, honestly. It really isn't, actually. Actually, you know what? Yeah. I'm not in that much of a rush because I need to get just some grinding done. You know, to get some equipment. So, honestly, yeah, we'll just we'll just put it in the yard at price and leave it for tomorrow. That's a very nice obstacle there to send 13 cars and not have enough space. Yeah, I, I'm sure a lot of people don't like that. I like it. I like it. It was absolutely unexpected, and that makes it fun. All right, let's go check out this Appalachian hardwoods industry, and then we will be done for today, episode-wise. Next couple episodes will, uh, will probably be pretty similar. We'll, we'll be running a train to Bryson and back every day. Uh, but we'll be trying to get some new equipment, so definitely definitely stay tuned for the next few episodes uh, See how things turn out see if we like our, our little idea here to um, 
to just run one or serve the industries once a day. We'll see if we like that idea. We might, we might not. We're going to experiment. But I'll definitely be expanding my equipment in the next few days, spending probably all of my money doing that. That speed down much better. around this corner but I can't remember which track is which so let's find out R1 and G3B Oh good, they're not on the same track. Awesome. Okay, so we don't have to worry about the order they're in. We do however have a switch that's not lined. Let's change that. Get some brakes on. Don't want to come off the track. Whew, that was close. Bravo, bravo. Get a handbrake set. This will be great once they get some more details in. This will be great. It's still great anyways. Lots of fun. Definitely don't go more than 15 on these tracks. These switches are tight. Whew. Let's kick it. Let's kick it. Yep. We're kicking it. Alright. Go for it. Well, guys, it's been fun. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, definitely uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment if you got a question or something to uh, to say. But thank you guys for being a very important part of the channel. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. I really had a good time during this one. Uh, this this was awesome. So look forward to seeing you guys next time. And as always, we will catch you out there another day. See you later.